I'm ashamed tonight for HBO Boxing. They put on one of the worst cards in the history today. It's not their fault about what happened with the fights in general. But John Molina, we thought would put up at least a better fight than what we got tonight. I swear, it looked like a guy who got cut off at the bar. And he, wait a minute, Kyle, I'm going to fight. Yeah, I'm going to get in the ring and fight. He looked like a drunk man in the ring trying to fight a professional boxer. And I said, what in the world has happened to John Molina? First off, he didn't make weight, didn't even try. Came in four pounds overweight and put up the worst performance I've ever seen in my life. That was despicable. Ray Baltron looked completely incredible and made people wonder if he's on the juice <laughs> after that performance. My goodness. But to me, it just seemed like better boxing IQ, better footwork. But yeah, he was hitting a lot harder tonight than I've ever seen Ray Beltron punch. Now, Terrence Crawford did what he did, you know, fighting a guy who's a middleweight. Uh, probably super middleweight. He was too big. Crawford just took his time, used accurate punches, went to the body, turn him, turn him, turn him. Make this guy reach and work for everything. Throwing wild shots. I swear it looked like a barroom brawl. Just terrible. Parker from New Zealand comes in here and pulls off the upset, wins the fight, and there she has it. There you have it. Boom. As you see right there, accurate punching, counter shots. Roy Jones says he even reminds me of me using some of my technique, and he did kind of look like Roy, but Ruiz felt the power a Parker. I hadn't seen enough of Parker to really make a, a perfect assessment of him, but he didn't really look that good in his last fight, and he got Ruiz's attention a lot in this fight, and when he did, using that jab, even when he pawed with it, he it set up everything, came up with a hook, he got the respect of Ruiz, so that Ruiz wouldn't come in as reckless, and he would take, he would wait when it was time when he wanted to come in but at that time the door was closed and once the fight went on Parker got stronger and congratulations to him the new WBO champion next you got Ray Beltran versus Menard this is a fight in which Beltran was such an aggressive beast in this fight. I'm like, my goodness. He wore down Menard, who basically is a speedster, used a lot of different angles, jump out of styles, and he's all over the place. Beltron put all that to bed after round one. He just kept coming with power and more power on top of it. And he physically broke him down as the fight went on. As you can see here, this is a mistake, kids. You're going to learn right now about squaring up. Look at the feet. Make sure your feet are always in position. When you square up, bad things happen. And this is why they say that. See, Menard jumps out of position. His legs get squared up the majority of the time. And when it does, it only gets you in trouble. It never helps. See? See where his legs is? He's really out of position to be throwing that kind of punch from there. Look at his feet. They're squared up. Beltron can see it. 
Now let's see what happens next. Boom. Right on the button. He's in position to punch. Basic move. But the force of the punch is unbelievable. As we take another look at the shot, you'll see what happened here. Pow! And down he goes. And that was it for him. And this is the main event of what was supposed to be a main event. Which was nothing but another Terrence Crawford showcase. Because John Molina, which we thought we would have a good fight here. And it was the Riddler. As he came in with the Riddler outfit on with the question mark. The question mark is which bar he come out of. Because I don't know which one it was. But he probably going right back there now. Because that's where he should have stayed. And not came into the ring looking like a complete disgrace. Like a wild man trying. <laughs> he just kept getting spun around. I'm like, what is he doing? It just looked bad all night. All night long. He's like a drunk man. I gotta get you, Terry. Slow down, Terry. I'm coming. Yeah, it ain't your baby. All right, come on. All right, let's go. You ain't got nothing. <laughs> It was like this all night. It was just so bad. Look, he's turned around. He don't even know where the fight or the action is in the fight. He's all over the place. He's looking like, y'all finna allow this drunk that's continuously come after me? Like, what are we doing here? Come on, Terrence. And the thing is... <laughs> His corner kept setting him out there like he was Rocky Balboa. And like this is finna like this is real. You seen Rocky? You know what Rocky did? We just watched Rocky. You saw he came back. You gotta do it too. You're gonna do it just like Rocky Balboa. Did somebody actually tell them that's a movie? <laughs> and in reality, the skilled fighter normally wins. Somebody should have explained that to them. Because <laughs> this fight was a farce. And, I mean, he had to pay half his purse over to Terrence Crawford for they could even have a fight because he was four pounds overweight. Showed he just came in for a weight loss camp to get a check. It was a disgrace when he pulled off. And what on paper looked like we were going to have an exciting fight. But, No. As he tries to get the crowd in it. Come on, everybody. I'm trying. Okay. All right. You got nothing. All right. What you got? Boo! Oh. <laughs> oh, good body shot. Okay. All right. <laughs> Who said we're throwing body shots? Okay. What well, about? <laughs> this, this fight was a complete farce. I feel bad for the fans who came in thinking they were going to get a real championship fight. We got to get better fights here. Now, I don't blame HBO for scheduling this fight. It's This is a great fight. It just turned out, like on paper, if we had a guy that was trying to come in and shape, we, we probably would have had a better performance. But instead, we had a guy who didn't try to make weight, came in as a middleweight, fighting a guy who's a professional skilled fighter and he made him look very very pathetic so it's your boy carcino i'm out congratulations to terrence bud crawford the champion and i'm out